Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Danny Fried. I wish I'd become a lawyer, but I didn't. I spent the last 20 years frying my brain. The only good thing to come out of this is I have stories. Many true funny stories and I want to share these stories with you every single Friday. Danny Friday. In today's video, I want to tell you about the time Fergus Wilson, one of Britain's most infamous and richest landlords, sued me for £10,000. <gasps> So let me take you back to March the 30th, 2017. I was living with my mum making videos in her bedroom. That, that, that sounds dodgy. I suppose it was a bit dodgy because I was slagging off a millionaire. I didn't actually think he was going to see it. The video only got 300 views, which thinking now was probably all Fergus watching over and over again, getting angrier and angrier. He must have been thinking, who is this peasant calling me a bum splatter of a man? I think I'm going to sue him. So roughly six months later, I received this letter in the post. I am trying to make contact with Danny Hyde. Can I ask you to confirm? whether or not this is the Danny Hyde from Danny Hyde TV. Spoiler alert, my real name is Danny Hyde. I changed my name to Danny Fried for this channel, but my old channel was called Danny Hyde TV and that's where he found the original video. When I received the letter, it was signed by a guy called Fergus Wilson and I remember thinking, that's the same guy I called a bum splatter of a man. I've just seen a story on the news about this ginormous bum splatter of a man. It was safe to say he probably wasn't trying to be my friend because not only did I call him a bum splatter of a man, I also called him a penis. This man is a penis. And a saucer of tit milk. Saucer of tit milk? Still, to this day, I'm extremely proud of the insult saucer of tit milk because I reckon I came up with it. I've never heard it anywhere before, and yeah, sod it, I, I'm claiming it. Saucer of tit milk, original material. Anyway, I should have left it there, but curiosity got the better of me, so I wrote back. Oi, oi, Wilson. No, this is not me. But say it was me, Danny Hyde, what would you do? Not long after I sent that letter, I received another letter informing me that I had been sued. I specifically remember thinking, F I didn't understand the law and I started to sh myself. I didn't have 10,000 pounds, I didn't even have a turn up. Still don't actually, so please subscribe and smash my bell. It was just before Christmas, my nan was dying and I was now getting sued by a random millionaire for calling him a penis. It was safe to say I completely and utterly fried it. I decided I needed some help, so I contacted the news and the next thing I know... The controversial Kent property tycoon Fergus Wilson is suing a video blogger for £10,000. Danny Hyde posted a rant online saying the controversial landlord was coming across as racist for his policy of not renting houses to what he called coloured people because they made his properties smell of curry. Well, that lettings policy was last year declared illegal, but Mr Wilson says he was appalled by the strength of language used, while the vlogger, for his part, says Mr Wilson should take the insult like a man. Danny Hyde says Fergus Wilson's lettings policy makes him come across as a racist. The landlord, who owns around 400 homes, says he's not, but he's not taking action over that. He's actually suing because of one particular term the vlogger uses in the piece to describe him. This man is a penis. I found it to be grossly offensive. That's where he's gone wrong, his choice of words, not subject matter. You've not ever had to go beep, 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 beep when you interview me, Simon, have you? But when you talk about coloured people, people find that offensive. Curry it's smells. It's not grossly offensive. It has to be grossly offensive, really has to be bad. I think it's ridiculous. Um, I don't regret it. I mean, if I have to pay £10,000, I might regret it. Like I said, I didn't actually think he was going to see it, and now I was on BBC News. Everything started going mental. My phone was ringing as if I was important. I'd never felt important in my entire life. I was featured in the Metro, Yahoo News. I was even featured on Vice. <laughs> At the end of the BBC news clip, some random geezer started saying something had happened that never actually happened. Mr Wilson this week has written again to the vlogger asking if they could come to some sort of settlement out of court, basically saying to the vlogger, make me an offer. Now he says he would accept it if the vlogger simply edited out of the piece the pieces that he finds grossly offensive. It's now over to the vlogger to see what he wants to do next. I never received that offer, but I thought to myself, well, if all I've got to do is edit out the offensive material, then so be it. I've just seen a story on the news about this splendid, respectable gentleman. I was hoping that was going to be the end of it, but no, apparently I also had to take down the original video, but I wasn't going to do that. I'm a man of principle, so I received another letter asking me to make a proposal. Uh, I've got a proposal. 
Stop suing me, mate. <laughs> mate, just just go away. That, that, that's that's the proposal. You know, if you go away, this all goes away. Everything goes away. Just just just. Just go away. He didn't go away. During my lifetime, I've called many people a penis and I've been called a penis many times myself, but this was the first case of penis calling that had landed me in a court case. Fergus Wilson reckons calling somebody a penis is a criminal offence and could send you to prison. Calling someone a penis is a criminal offence and you could go to prison. How many people are in prison? Oh, what are you in for, mate? Uh, you know, rape, murder. Uh, I'm in for calling someone a penis. Next thing I know, my mate Sammy P rings me up who makes t-shirts and says we should make some t-shirts, so we made some t-shirts. First off in the range of Danny High TV t-shirts, we have the Saucer of Tip Milk shirt. Notice how there is a boob there with a splashing of milk coming out of the teat, creating a saucer of tit milk. Next up, we have the Bum Splatter of a Man t-shirt. Finally, we have the Love Curry Hate Racism t-shirt. I ended up selling over a hundred of those t-shirts, which goes to show getting sued by a multi-million there could be quite a nice little earner. Just worked out that everything could work out very, very cushy. <laughs> <laughs> So, after months of fear and anxiety, the day had finally come. My court case with Fergus Wilson. A lawyer came down all the way from London to represent me for free because he's a legend. He made me feel like I was going to win, and guess what? <sighs> Next time you sue me, Fergus, try actually turning up. <laughs> he sued me and then didn't even turn up for the suing. Some things, Fergus, you've got to turn up for. I'm pretty sure Henry VIII turned up to watch his wife's head getting chopped off. Yeah. Not only did the judge dismiss the case, he ordered Fergus to pay £3,000 to charity. Cheers! I learned a lot of things that day, but mostly I learned that there's nothing illegal about calling somebody a penis. So let's do it now. You're a penis, I'm a penis, everybody. Penises. Anyway, after the court case, I thought that was it, until one day a delivery man handed me a parcel. This suspicious package here. So it says, fragile, but on the sides it says, fine food store, luxury food, gift and hampers. I didn't order any luxury fine foods, I shop at Lidl, so I automatically thought, BOOM! What do you reckon? Should I open it? I'm a bit paranoid it's going to blow up in my face. I didn't open it for ages, I just looked at it, listening for ticking noises. But in the end, curiosity got the better of me, and yes, it was actually fine, luxurious foods. Duck and orange pate. A hench lump of mature cheddar. Bag of peanuts. A delightful little jar of... <laughs> cocktail onion. <laughs> Biscuits. Chutney. Gherkins. I didn't know who sent it to me. Fergus was the only person who had my address who could afford such a fine box of luxurious foods, but why would he treat me when he just tried to sue me for £10,000? I had never eaten such fine luxurious foods, and I didn't die, which means it wasn't poison, but it got me thinking, who the f*** was sending me gherkins and cheese? A week later, I received another package. Did I get this lovely mug? Which, which basically sums me up. Uh, sums me up. <laughs> Sums me up perfectly. And there it was. There was only one man who was going to call me a gobshite on a mug. The same bloke who tried to sue me for calling him a penis. Fergus Wilson. From then on in, I received another package every single week. <laughs> my own personal Fergus Wilson mug. So, so this one, it's not going to have my name on it because if it is, I'll, I'll scream with glee. That would be too much for me to handle on this day. Danny! <laughs> oh, this is lovely. A little personalised Fergus and Danny mugs that go together. And like I guessed, they can give each other kissy kissy. Oh, this is... Fergus went from suing me for £10,000 to sending me lovely little gifts in the post every single week. Disney should take on this story because it's got absolutely everything. It's a tale of a bad man becoming good. Such beautiful character development. It's like Jafar saying to Aladdin, Ah, oh, sod it, you're not so bad. Here, have a cake. Thank you very much, brother. I don't know how Fergus was feeling in this particular moment, but personally, I was feeling the love and I thought it was only right to send him something back. A lovely little personalised mug. That's me, and that's Fergus, and we're in a bed of flowers, and it says, Thank you, Fergus. And if you flip it round, it says, Love your little gobshite. That's me. I'm his little gobshite. He must have really appreciated that, because a week later he sent me 20 quid. I had 20 pounds inside. And it says, Dear Danny, you need this more than me. He was right, to be fair. I'll skip back then. Still am, actually. So subscribe and smash my bell. Next thing I know, he sends me nine billion dollars. 
I am now a billionaire. For a second there, I thought I was a billionaire, but no, I was getting mugged off. <sighs> gotta hand it to the geezer. When he's not suing people, he's got a bit of banter. I suppose you could say that was karma for me calling him a penis, which leads me on nicely to his final gift. <gasps> What the f is that? What? Is that? It's, it's a fucking cock and ball. Oh thing. my god. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> Mate. Go on, then go and put it hey, on. What is he fucking warm? <laughs> <laughs> He sent me a hand-knitted willy warmer. Still, to this day, I have absolutely no idea why he sent me a hand-knitted willy warmer. Well, obviously the warmer cup. But that's what I like about this world. Nothing makes sense. But anyway, of course, I had to try it on. <laughs> I'm zooming <laughs> So there we have it. That was the story about the time Fergus Wilson sued me for calling him a penis and then ended up sending me a hand knitted willy warmer in the post. Make it make sense. Since making this video, I've been in contact with Fergus about getting him to come on the channel. Things didn't go to plan, but things did go weird. So subscribe and smash my bell because there will be a part two. Also, be sure to follow me on my other socials because I make comedy on there too. Links in the description. Thank you for watching. I love you all. See you next Danny Friday.